A mid-air scare, five minutes that felt like forever for the Butler men's basketball team, dropping more than 20,000 feet before making an emergency landing in Pittsburgh. It happened over the night after the team took off on their charter flight from New York back to Indy. And now nearly 24 hours later, the team has made it back home again safely to Hinkle Fieldhouse. And I with a story and for some, some life-changing moments they will never forget. Good to be back in Hinkle, that's for sure. It's great to be back in Hinkle. What a long, strange, and frightening trip it's been for the Butler men's basketball team, which rolled back onto campus just before 8 on Friday night. It is uh, good to be here. It's, it's uh, good for our guys to kind of see smiles on their faces as, as we uh, pulled in. Uh, they were uh, excited about this and pretty anxious to get on that bus as opposed to the plane. At the buzzer! Oh, up the front rim! After a surprise loss to St. John's Thursday night, the team boarded their flight in New York and took off. A short time later, the plane suddenly lost cabin pressurization. Senior 841, this is uh, when you get a chance to uh, fuel remaining and uh, souls on board. The pilot then forced to drop 22,000 feet in a matter of minutes. The lights went out. The um, oxygen mask came down with the exception of they didn't come down on our two seats. So we had to slide over. Eventually, thankfully, the plane safely landed in Pittsburgh, and Coach Holtman was finally able to check in on his players. We had one teammate who was really emotional. We had another teammate, um, as he had his mask on, kind of grabbing him and, and, and holding him by the shoulder. Um, in the midst of that, you know, that speaks to, you know, that speaks to that young man. Yes, it certainly does. Home sweet Hinkle indeed tonight. Welcome home to everybody involved. The investigation continues into what went wrong on the plane itself. Now, the Bulldogs do have a little time without having to travel again. They're not on the road until next weekend at Georgetown.